So I want to show you step by step how to run your bots from a server. I don't know about you, but I live on an island and I run out of power all the time. And, you know, we want to close our computers for whatever reason you want to travel, whatever. So I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to set up a server in this video. And then I'm going to show you something crazy, which is called screens. And it allows you to run multiple bots on one server, all from your Visual Studio code or your cursor. OK, so let's go ahead. I'm using Cherry servers. This is literally the company that I've always used. And I show this a very similar training to this in my paid boot camp. So this is very, very valuable. Lock in. They reached out to me and they said they wanted to sponsor this video. So thank you so much for sponsoring this. Thank you to them. But like I said, I actually use this product. I'm not just running ads on my channel. I don't run sponsorships unless I actually use the product and it's very, very rare, but Cherry Servers did reach out. All right, so there is a link in the description in order to sign up for Cherry Servers, or you can just go to moondev.com slash cherry in order to sign up. So moondev.com slash cherry or click the link in the description to get started now. So I wanna show you exactly how to do this. New instance here. You just sign up for Cherry Servers. There's a couple different options you can explore of servers you want. I'm going to show you the one that I use. It's under dedicated resources and scroll down here. It's a 16 gigabyte RAM one. It's about $48.73 per month. But if that's too much for you, there's a couple other options. You can ask AI about the, the risks of using a shared resource. It could get slowed down a little bit, but the prices are much cheaper for shared resources. That might be a good option for you. Just make sure to ask AI and see if it's a good fit for you. Um, there's things like a noisy neighbor that could take up the RAM, et cetera, et cetera. That's the research I did. And then some people are very paranoid about using shared resources when you're using private keys or trading bots. So what I use is this dedicated one, but you pick dedicated resources here. Um, the thing that I was looking for was high RAM here. I got 16 gigabytes. I click that button. Then I pick the country that I want it hosted in. Super easy to do. I picked Amsterdam because I like it out there. I pick Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the the operating system I use, nothing else. I don't change anything else. I click pay and deploy usually, but for this instance here, I actually want to go ahead and use hourly billing, which is pretty cool because if I'm not super confident that I'm gonna keep using it, you can just set up hourly billing and it's only like 10 cents an hour. So since I already have my main account and I have three VPSs currently running at that $50 amount, I'm just going to use this for the tutorial. Okay, so it's 10 cents and I really like that feature. Let's go ahead and click pay and deploy. Okay, so I'm paying and deploying. While that works, we got to go here to, um, we got to go to Visual Studio Code or cursor, whatever you do use, and we have to download an extension. So we're going to go here and we're going to go over to the extensions tab. And you're going to see here that I go ahead and I click remote dash ssh remote dash ssh install that and i already have it installed and what it's going to do is it's going to give you this remote open remote window down here in the bottom left you click connect to host here and we need to wait for our ip address and all of this to be set up so i'll be back when that is done but make sure to go set up remote dash ssh and then get to the bottom left here where you can click this little, these double arrows and it says open a remote host and click connect to host. And that's where we will start when it is done deploying. It takes a few minutes. All right, so now you can see the server has been deployed and there's a couple things you have to be very careful with. Save this username and password. Don't show it to anybody. Cherry servers does not save it. You get to see it for 24 hours. So make sure to save these two things and your IP address, your IP address is up here. Don't share that either. So your primary IP is right here as well. It's the same IP as up here. Grab the root, grab the password, those three things we need. So let's grab that IP address first off. And it's the same as up there. Okay, let's go back to remote SSH. You've already installed this, right? So you click this and you, in the bottom left and you cl click connect to host, okay? And then you click add new host. You can see I already set one up, add new host, okay? And then you do the exact same format as this right here. So how do you do that? You type in host and then you put in their IP address and then you do one, two spaces, host with a capital H and then N, 
capital and then name and then the same IP address. And then you hit enter. It should be two spaces already. And the username, you saw that on your thing, it's user root, okay? So you can see root right here. Now, now you're gonna need the password. So let's go ahead and copy that password over. And essentially, I'm gonna go ahead and click this right here, open, and then connect to host here. So I'm gonna click connect to host and it's gonna pull up a new Visual Studio code or cursor. I have to click the, oh, I actually have to save this. Sorry, I have to save that first. And then I have to go connect to host here. And then you can see the new host here. And then it's gonna pull up a new Visual Studio code. All right, so there is a link in the description in order to sign up for Cherry servers, or you can just go to moondev.com slash cherry in order to sign up. So moondev.com slash cherry or click the link in the description to get started now. So now that you're all connected here, all you got to do is uh, it should, should pop up here and say like, do you approve this, whatever. And then I'll just hit Linux here and it'll say the authenticity of this IP address and then just say yes, okay. And then I say yes. And then it says put in your password. Remember, they can't save this password for you. So you have to save it. They can't get it for you. That's part of security. Okay, let's hit enter here. Okay, and then now I'm going to show you a really cool part about this is because now we're connected to the actual server, right? So this looks just like Visual Studio Code or Cursor, or whatever you're using. I click emote, open folder here and I just click OK. And then here, let's set up a couple bots. Let's set up a couple test bots. Okay, so first things first, you have to put your password in again. So make sure to save that password. Okay, let's hit enter and let's go ahead and say close this chat here. Okay, so let's make a just a folder here and we'll make a couple test bots. Bots, and then inside of that folder, I'll just make a couple uh, bots. Bot1.py, and then let's make a bot. Let's say uh, loop saying this is my bot1. Okay, we need to import time. Okay, so now I have bot1, right? So let's go ahead and say copy and then paste so we can have bot two. So I wanna show you how you can set up 50 bots if you want, it doesn't matter. These screens are a mind blowing thing that I learned and I literally teach this inside my bootcamp because it's so important. So this is my bot two. Okay, so we have bot one, bot two. Now these screens are so cool because it allows you to essentially, you know how you can run code in your terminal? Well, you can't run multiple codes unless you set up multiple terminals. Now this allows you to set up multiple terminals to run code in the cloud so you can have 10, 20 bots, whatever, how many bots you have. Okay, so how do you do this? You go new terminal. And now listen up, these are some commands you're gonna have to remember. Write this first command down, screen dash capital S, and then whatever you want the name of that screen to be. Remember, screens are a way to run multiple bots at the same time. So there's four commands you need to know. Screen dash S, and then the name, bot one, whatever name you want, that is customizable. Okay, now I'm in screen one, I'm in bot one. So how do I get out of it? This is the second command you need to write down right now. You hit control and then A and then D. Control A, D, it backs you out. You can see detached. Okay, so there's two commands, right? Screen S, capital S, then the name. That is how to create a new screen. How to get out of the screen. You hit command or control A, control A, and then follow that with a D. Okay, now how do you see what screens are running? Well, screen dash LS shows you all the screens. You can see you're detached. That means you're not connected to the screen. I got bot one here. But remember, I have two bots I want to set up. So how do we do that? You know the command. Scre screen dash capital S bot two. Okay, so now I'm in bot two. How do I get out of this? Control A, back out with D. Control A, then D. Okay, do I have bot two set up? Well, we can see screen dash LS. So you have three commands, right? Screen dash capital S bot one or whatever the name is screen dash ls to see all the the screens and then control a d to get out of it there's one last thing how do i get reconnected to these bot pages well i just copy this or you know if it's a unique enough name you this is your fourth command that you should write down screen dash r that means retach you know it says detached here screen dash r then whatever the bot name is bot one and this is so cool because now you can see I'm on a, uh, a terminal in the cloud on 
a separate terminal than the main one. So I just said LS and I can see I need to, in order to run these bots, I have to get inside this folder. So I say CD bots, and then I can run this code. So let me say Python three, and you can change that if you'd like, bot one dot py and then run it this is my bot one this is my bot one this is my bot one it doesn't matter if my power goes out this is not on my computer this is on my server through cherry servers big shout out to them because this just showing you this process it's a game changer i've been using cherry servers this entire time thank you for sponsoring this thank you for getting me this uh tutorial out into the wild because i think everybody wants to know exactly how do you run your bots with your computer closed from the cloud. Remember, I hit control A then D and I backed out of it. And now I can see that if I hit screen LS, I can see that I'm detached from both. I have bot one running though. Remember if I hit screen R, bot one. Sorry, I have to say screen, I put PY there. Screen R, bot one. You can see this is my bot one, it's running. Then I hit control A, D, and then I'm back. So now let's go set up bot two, screen re retach R, bot two. Okay, so there's nothing running my bot two because I haven't set it up. Let's say LS, see where we are. Okay, we need a CD in the bots, okay. And then I just say Python, Python three, bot two dot PY, this is my bot too. Now you know how to run two bots at the same time from the cloud. This is absolutely amazing. How do I get back out? I hit control A and then D. And then what I, I wanna see the other one, screen R, bot one. Boom, this is my bot one. Back out, screen R, bot two. They're both running. Now you know exactly how I set up my bots in the cloud. And I use Cherry servers. You saw the server that I use. Let's go, let's do a little refresh just in case. All right, so there is a link in the description in order to sign up for Cherry servers, or you can just go to moondev.com slash cherry in order to sign up. So moondev.com slash cherry, or click the link in the description to get started now. Say new instance here, scroll down, and I'm using the hourly plan right now. So you just scroll down here. You say which bot or which server you want. Again, this is the one that I use. I use the dedicated resources. Scroll down to the 4873 a month, 16 gigabytes. But like I said, feel free to work with AI. Ask them about you know the cheaper options. But that's the entire tutorial. I hope this has been super helpful for you. And thank you again to Cherry Service.